Pep, were you the only team who wanted to win that? I'm pretty sure United won the good evening. I'm pretty sure United came here to, to try to win the game. So I think I never never met one team, one opponent, when uh, one player when I start to 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 play a game and thinking we are not going to win the game. And you win the game to win. you can win from many many different things and with your proposal, we're going back, make counter attacks, it's waiting the set pieces, waiting one decision on the referee, waiting. Uh, Many, many circumstances and everything. That's why football is amazing. It's 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 beautiful. But everybody, it's it's acceptable. But we tried. I just can't say what, like a manager of Manchester City, what we have done. What we have tried not just today, all the season. Try to, like today, try to monopolize the the ball. Maybe it's a little bit Latin style. I don't know here in England, but try to to have the ball and attack. And of course, you cannot expect. Against one team, there's 23 games in a row without the unbeaten. That means how good they are in defensive, in an offensive, and create maybe not a thousand million chances, but 50 shoots and now in the target. It's quite enough to 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 win the games. We we play to win the game. We play, we try it, but again, we are not able. So we are not able. You have to look why we're not able to win again. So it's one point and. The big fight will be until what for game. Have you ever played a derby where one team has sat back as much as that? In my career, like a man, in like in, in my career, like a manager. In my career, as like a manager, I play against all the teams in different styles. So, so I'm not here, believe me, to judge what my opponents uh, uh, want to do. It would be respectful, not respectful the other one. So. So, you know, what you have to do is what the opponent try to do. What you have to do to beat them, and we are not able. I think we we make absolutely everything. Not just last three or four or six minutes, seven minutes with ten against eleven. So it's the approach. The approach. What do you want to do when they have the ball? What do you do? What do you try to to make? And we try it, but it was not enough again. Uh, Jose was just in here saying that he saw Aguero in the tunnel afterwards and I'll quote him, he said he had no broken nose, no broken head, his face as nice as always. He was, he was, I think he was suggesting that Sergio had exaggerated the impact of Fellaini's actions. Next what's your, question. What's your reaction no, no, to that? I'm, I'm not going to talk at my press conference about in one action who was in the last minutes can nothing change the game, so, so nothing. So when Nolito against Bournemouth he was sent off for absolutely nothing, he was three games banned. So, so that in that situation, you don't talk to me. You have to speak with Mike Riley or with the referees. Speak with the referees. The decision is the referees, not me. So I don't want to talk about the decisions of the referee. The referees take a decision, speak with them, and, and take a decision. So he was suggesting that your, play, your player had exaggerated to get another player sent off. That was the inference of what Jose was saying. <laughs> I didn't see the action on TV, so it was far away from my position. So I don't like to see guys sent off. I would prefer Fellaini stay on the pitch. So, but I'm not going to analyze the game for that that's action. Steve, just one sec, mate. Just wait for the mic, please. <clears throat> Looking at the bigger picture, is a is a nil-nil draw a good result for you, considering Man United's final few games and your running? No, the better result would have been win the game and to be third in the position, but the still are in our hands. The important is we have five games left, three at home, two away, uh, when every game will be a battle like today, because considering how our average in the Chances created and chances uh, score. A score, so it's it's lower all the season, and that's why we have to fight a lot to 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 win the games. Because when you think about now, Middlesbrough is playing for the relegation, and after the next games at home in Leicester, Crystal Palace, Crystal Palace able to win in Anfield in Stamford Bridge. Uh, easy against Arsenal at home. Yesterday we lost in the last minutes against West Bromwich Albion with my admired person like Tony Pulis. So 
It will be tough until the last the last moment, but only so when this, I want to assure we're going to try to play the way we play today and all the season. We are not able, good enough in front and back, to be stable in back and to be cynical and not need a lot, a lot of chances to 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 score goals and and uh, okay, so we're going to try to to of course to qualify for the Champions League. Any more questions in English for the embargo? Just here, please. Hi, Pep. How bad is um, Claudio Bravo's injury? I didn't speak with uh, with the doctor, but yes, with the physio, told me he's injured. With the cough. cough. Tomorrow we'll, we will know exactly, but I think we'll be out. Pep, Vincent Company continues to make a lot of progress, played three games now in a short space of time. Can you sum up the difference he's made to the defensive unit and the team overall since he's come back? He seems to make a huge difference. Well, he's, he's a central defender, central defender. A defender always we ask how many duels we're going to win today. Did you win duels against your striker? Yes or not? Vincent win duels. That's why he's a good central defender. How many strikers? How many duels you win to a central defender? The opponent you score goals. How many? Less than the opponent, you are not a good striker. And Vincent normally win a lot of duels. That's why again make a outstanding perfect. It's not easy to play against Rashford. And in the first minutes with Mitikarian, because they are so, so fast player, but of course they are so intelligent to do in these kind of actions. OK, take a couple of questions in Spanish then. Just here and then to Luis. Here and then Luis, yeah. Good genius. Hola, Pep. Uh, en anteriors rodes de premsa, recordo que et havia preguntat si els partits aquests en els que falles tantes ocasions són un reflex de la temporada. Uh, et preguntaré ara si quina idea tens de com es pot millorar això, si és els entrenos, si psicològicament creus que, que s'ha de treballar més no. o com creus que es pot millorar això d'alguna manera? La persona que ve de cap, va bé de cap. La, qüestió, la persona que és ràpida, és ràpida. La persona que és forta, és forta. La persona que sap fer gols, sap fer gols. I els gols o els compres o no els entrenes. El gol... Still talent or still talent? So is the, the lack of, of goal something you can train or, or, or not? Uh, what do you think? How can you improve the, the lack of goal? Well, the person that goes good with the head uh, is good with the head. The person who's strong is strong. But uh, the goals, uh, either you have it or you have to buy it, but you can't train them. So uh, it's something either you uh, have or you can't train. <laughs> Hola, buenas noches. En este sentido, cuando tú llegas el, al siguiente entrenamiento, cuando llegas a la siguiente charla, cuando usted llega a la siguiente charla, ¿qué le puede decir al equipo cuando una y otra vez eh, vuelven a hacerlo bien, vuelven a crear las ocasiones, vuelven a y, y no ganan el partido? Porque ¿Qué le puede decir? Y en, y en castellano, por favor, ¿qué tiene Claudio Bravo? Si se le ha acabado la temporada, si cree que va a poder... Mañana, lo de Claudio mañana lo sabremos, pero creo que tiene la por unas semanas, considerando que nos quedan... Uh, nada, dos tres semanas para acabar el, el año, uh, veremos lo que, lo que pasa y respecto a la primera pregunta es insistir, lo más bonito del deporte es que mañana tienes otra oportunidad para poder hacerlo y de repente no sabes cómo, se desbloquea y empiezas a hacer goles, uh, lo puedes volver a intentar. So, um, what can you tell to a team that does so much and, and doesn't win, uh, we, we need to insist, uh, I can tell them to insist, tomorrow uh, in this sport we have another chance to try and eventually that will unlock and we will start scoring uh, a lot of goals. And the second question, um, what uh, Claudio Bravo has, uh, is he injured? Uh, well, tomorrow we will know better, of course uh, he has an injury, uh, probably for some weeks and considering we are in the final stage of the season, uh, I don't know if we, he will be available, but we'll see and we'll know more tomorrow. Tomorrow.